Louisiana Beer Reviews, Black Albert. 100 International Bitterness Units, 13% alcohol, 11.2 ounce bottle. $10.49 for this little bottle at Stein's Deli. And the guy, Stein, that owns it, he says, Hey, this is really expensive. I said, how much is it? $10.49. I said, what? He said, I know that's a little higher than what you normally pay. Ha ha ha. And he burst out laughing. I said, okay, all right. You know, what better way to get business than insult your customers? Uh, all right. But he's correct. Anyway, uh, this is number 14, batch 14. It's a product of Belgium from Destruis Brewers at um, Vletren, Belgium. Not, not West, not West Vletren, Belgium, but Vletren, Belgium. Okay. It was created in conjunction with Ebenezer Brew Pub of Maine. And it's imported by Shelton Brothers, who brings in so many different beers. Artwork by Vincent Hulkett. Okay. Um, some weird tattoo on somebody. They say this has something to do with the Belgian King Albert. Albert, who abdicated in 2013. Whoa. After being on the throne for about 20 years, 93 to 2013, of the House of Saxe Coburg and Gotha. All right. Same royal house of Great Britain, by the way, Saxe Coburg and Gotha. Although in World War I, people were accusing them of being German sympathizers, which was so ridiculous. So, oh man, there is just, it looks like black, some kind of black mud at the bottom. So they changed their name to the House of Windsor. And, um, Battenburg became Mountbatten. Queen Elizabeth's uncle, Lord Mountbatten, was supposed to be von Battenburg. Anyway, off the history. Um, this is supposed to be one of the blackest beers in the world. It gets an outstanding score in Beer Advocate, their second highest score, not their highest. Outstanding from the Bros, 100 out of 100 in Rapier, only a 99 out of 100 for the style of. Oh. A royal stout, imperial stout, and an outstanding score on the beer and me, their second highest score. Okay, the head was thin, thin, beige, almost tan, and the appearance is <laughs> it's black. I wish I had sunlight coming in from outside, but it's getting too late in the evening. Okay. With this light shining through, though, I'm picking up some brown on the edges, okay? Brown on the edges. It's coming, it's coming loose. It's, it's like, uh, oh yeah. It's like that experimental spaceship, uh, 19, 74, she's breaking up, she's breaking up. <clears throat> As Steve Austin said. Okay, anyway. Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. This better be worth ten forty nine. I don't know how it could be, but the West Lathrin 12 was $14 a bottle, and it was worth it for a one-time sample. And I can guarantee you this will be a one-time sample. Unless I get it for a gift for Christmas or something. Hmm. <clears throat> they say you could age this for probably decades, but I don't know when the batch 14 came out. They don't see. Batch zero was in 2007. That's when it originally came out, 2007. It gives me a lot number. But. I don't know what that means. I guess it's not old. I 
did give it I did get a seven percent discount on it though. It's very rich. It's rich like super dark roasted barley malt, which is what they're using. I think they have candy sugar in it from what I read. It's astringent, like in your nose, it's like it stings your nose. <coughs> it's like a molasses or a licorice. Wow, that's that's an intense aroma, man. Let's go with the flavor, man. <laughs> I haven't even drank any yet. Mm. Okay. Dark roasted barley malt, darkest thing you ever. Alright. Richest thing you ever. Sweetest thing you ever. Alright, so it's rich. It's sweet. It's dark roasted. It's chocolatey. It's coffee like. There's black cherry. There's vegetable in it, like celery. Yeah, it's not made with vegetables. Um, the mouth feels thick, thick, thick. I was watching one video review. There's about ten on there. And I was watching them today. And I was putting the comments. I'm about to try this today. There's nothing else I could say because I hadn't had it yet. When somebody said that thing's so thick it tastes like it was made without water. The finish is like between wet and dry, and it's it's roasted like it's a roasted finish, but it's not an alcoholic finish. I drank the Super Brew 15. That I don't know what that was just like ghastly. You no, know? I mean it was that was a lager, but it was so alcoholic as you drank it and I had to pour it out I couldn't finish it now the the that was from Romania the uh, Santa Claus Hellas and classic those are 14 but they seem to be more alcoholic than this but they're lagers doppel box or malt liquors as it says on the bottle which a malt liquor is a doppel box or a doppel box is a malt liquor I should say uh, I mean, hell, this is a malt liquor. If you go by the strict definition of malt liquor, what is it? Extra strong beer of any sort, but typically lagers. This is an ale, stout ale. Um, those, you can really pick up the alcohol. It's just like, this is a little bit in the exhalation. <clears throat> There's fruitiness for sure. Grape skins. Raisin, I would say, the chocolatiness, the richness. Uh, you can feel the warmth, you see, but it's, like someone said, dangerously drinkable. It's an experience, uh, like somebody said, don't, like, I think his name was Chris Stein or Mark Stein. He said, don't rush through it. He said, savor it. I said, I'm not going to gulp this down. And then he said, and I looked at it, I said, 1049. He said, you can exchange it for three other beers. I said, no, 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 I'm getting it. <laughs> I mean, that, that cherry, that intense cherry and cherry skin, that maraschino cherry really even is coming out like, you know, the juice in those things. If, if you have that out the, the, the bottle, the jar, I mean. Um, it's awesome. I mean, it's awesome. There's a, a a bit of powderiness there in the in the body, but there's no grain husk. Some of these Belgian ales, you know, the Belgian style ales, they'll have that grain husk as grain husk aspect that you'll pick up with um, lagers, those high gravity lagers. But this does not have that. 
but it's awesome. I mean, yeah, this is world class. To me, it's world class. It's above outstanding, but maybe I'm too easy to please. Or maybe I'm trying to say that because I, I paid $10.49. Minus a discount plus tax. But that's alright. I'm going to say world class. It's one of the best beers I've ever had. And I've had a lot. But it's one of the best ever. The worst you could say about it. And I mean that's if you were really just picking on it. And trying to find flaws. Which I can't find any. You could say it's outstanding. Okay. So the worst you could say is an A+. plus. I'm going to say above A+. plus, World class. So Les Les Bon Temps Relay. Epic beer. From one of the most epic outstanding beer stores I've ever been in. Stein's Deli on Magazine Street, New Orleans Corner, Jackson Avenue. Believe me, that place is beyond belief. Thank you for watching this video production and come on down to New Orleans!